This is Cool Trains of Montreal. I just got lucky again. Within seconds, I walked past here to the ramps and I got a CP train, double stack, leaving, headed, headed west, just waiting there for me. And uh, here it goes. It's got some nice lighting. I'm lucky because uh, we're just past the solstice. So 22nd of, uh, yeah, 22nd of um, December today. So, so it's, uh, we're, we're now just getting back to getting uh, some better daylight rather than worse daylight. And uh, this train here is in like almost the golden light, so it's really cool coming down here underneath the ramps. So container trains, a lot of people don't like them. I kind of like them. They're uh, sometimes like a rolling Tetris game on uh, rails because sometimes you can see the stacks uh, very interestingly with longer boxes on top of shorter. You'll always see the 20 uh, foot containers at the bottom. So most stack trains will have 20 foot containers, two of them on the bottom like that. And those are usually on the top will be a 40 foot container or the 53s. But the basic unit is 20 feet or 40 feet. And that's where the structural frame of these containers is. So you'll always see like these containers have a structural frame and that frame is at 20 foot intervals. And that's how they're able to stack these things. So they have an outer skin and then they have the inner frame and the frame is what takes the structural load. So these are white half egg Lloyd containers and most of the other companies that have white ones, those are insulated with um, a refrigerator unit. You'll see the refrigerator units on the, on the side. The darker containers for some reason are just regular box containers. I do like these green ones. They're, really really nice they have a nice uh, aesthetic about them JB Hunt That's the end of the train. So, again, like always, if you like what you saw, please consider subscribing to uh, the Cool Trains in Montreal uh, page. And uh, don't forget also that we're also on Facebook, Cool Trains in Montreal. Have a good day.